Now, of course, we can test this out a little bit in a second. But before we do that, we need to attach the player script to our player. And then we have all these empty textures here. So if we go back to our health folder inside the GUI folder and select our player, we can drag those on the right slots so that it knows what variable represents what image file and this way we can easily switch to them in script. Okay, so that works but we don't really have yet a method to test if we are actually correct. So what we can do is uh, write a really short invoke repeating script that automatically takes health down from us and then we can use that to see if our images are actually correct. So to do that let's create a function called subtract and in this function subtract something from the health like minus one and then from there we can print to the screen health is now and then our health variable okay so this is pretty easy we can uh, trigger this function every half second or so using the function we just learned invoke repeating and then this subtract function and then from there we'll start two minutes into the game and then every half second we will subtract. Okay, so let's see what this looks like in the game view. And we'll wait two seconds, and then on the bottom in the console, you can see the health is now changing. 73, 70s, so far counting down. 60s, so far so good. Around the 50s, into the 40s, into the 30s looks like we have some kind of virus or we swallowed some poison so our health is automatically counting down 20s then 10s and if we're around zero we die okay so that works perfectly no flaws in this one very nice we can take the subtract function away and the invoke repeating because we don't want to die automatically unless if you want to make a game where you find the health boxes really quickly from one to another I guess that would be some kind of game but you know not as much a first person shooter so this works so far let's continue on and subtract health when the turret has us in sight